Welcome again to this OSGI uh, series. Um, in this part, we will create an OSGI API project according to the Enroute template specification. This is a very typical OSGI design pattern, so it is very important to understand this concept. The API project only responsibility is to declare our services interfaces, later to be implemented by other OSGI services and then used by OSGI components. This will become clearer uh, when we make progress with this tutorial. So let's get started. So where we left it? Uh, we left it as we created the workspaces, the one for Eclipse and one for BND tools, and now we're ready to start developing. So the first thing we want to do is create a new um, BND project. Now, Enroot templates sits on top of the BND tools and create um, a more advanced setup for each of the type of the project we want to create. So if you look here, there's a different option for each of the um, templates. Uh, what it basically says is for an API project, just add the API suffix to uh, the name of your project and Enroot will do all the rest. So we know our project is called OSGI Tutorial and we can create um, another um, uh, package. Uh, we'll just call it a test and we create an API. So this is what the uh, Enroot will create for us with the BND tools uh, and the setup is completed once we're done with this. Um, so what we get? So on the source by default we're gonna get a test API class, sorry interface. So by default Enroot knows this is an API and an API has no implementation, it only declares interfaces, um, hence the API. Um, we can create a new method, uh, we'll call it get name, and we'll finish at that. Um, so what we have here, um, also under BND, um, aut automatically exported that package and that's exactly what we want because we want other bundles or packages to um, consume our API or use it to implement um, the API um, so we need to export that. Uh, this package doesn't do anything apart from uh, declaring the interface so we don't need to look at any runtime um, specification at the moment, uh, that's enough. Uh, it does come up with this um, message that there is um, it doesn't like this um, error in the description so we're just going to provide uh, some description uh, the other thing that should um, be changed is the required capability compiled only um, for some reason, uh, this creates a problem later on. Uh, we'll come back to that. It's documented on the Enroot um, website as well. Uh, we're just going to get rid of it from now, from now on. And that's it. If we now look at our um, local, we should have that workspace now available. Uh, BND tools uh, use semantic versioning automatically. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, it adds the dates and the build time uh, and we look into um, API semantic versioning in later um, later episodes when it's going to be more uh, relevant. Um, so that's it, you have um, test class, oh one thing I forgot, uh, it is recommended if you are uh, um, defining uh, an interface for a service for another uh, OSGI component is to uh, implement the um, provider type. Now provider type is available but uh, in order to make this work um, we need to add it to the build path and that's already in. Yeah, so we're good to go.